Hey, what's up, coach? This is Coach Ben from buildmysportsbiz.com. And if you are brand new here to our YouTube channel, make sure to click the thumbs up button on the video if you like it and click the subscribe button. Um, this way you can stay updated with all of our newest videos. I'm pretty much here because I like helping sports coaches build out their business. I specialize in soccer. Um, that's the company I built here in San Antonio, Texas. You can Google us. It's called Neighbors Soccer Academy. Uh, that is my business. Uh, I started that in 2009. And the purpose of this channel is to help more coaches build and scale their sports training business. And we have a great track record now of helping coaches in, in every industry um, who have either watched our, our other YouTube videos, they watched, listen to our podcast, our newsletter. We have a lot of stuff for coaches that is, that is free and it's available. And today, really what I want to do, though, in this video is I want to talk about the two key metrics that you need to really understand in order to drive your business forward. So I'm talking about if you want to make more money in your business, this is going to come down to the clients that you have. So here are the two key metrics you've got to understand. And I'm going to be serious with you. I did not understand what these were until maybe around four or five years ago. And I've been in business for pretty much 10 years now, right? So what I'm, about, uh, what I'm about to share with you is going to be very valuable. So number one, I know this sounds simple. Not a lot of people think about this, is you need to understand how many parents are being introduced to what you are doing on a weekly basis and a monthly basis. So here's what I'm talking about. How many parents are coming to your website? How many parents are watching a YouTube video? How many parents are getting on the phone with you? The metric I care about is the phone call. If I create a YouTube video or a Facebook video and I get a thousand people to watch it, but nobody calls me on the phone to talk to me about my program, that's not really driving my business. Of course, like having that, that social presence and being in front of people all the time, that is important. But how are we taking those people and getting them on the phone? That is where you're going to get people to commit. It's not going to be from somebody liking your Facebook, uh, your Facebook video that you created. You need to be able to transition people if they're watching something or if they hear about you into a phone conversation. So the number one metric I care about is how many phone calls are you driving on a weekly basis and a monthly basis? And we're going to keep this simple. Let's just say you drive 10 phone calls on a weekly basis. All right. If you do that, uh, my math is not very good, but if you do that four weeks out of every month, that's 40 phone calls out of the month that you are driving, whether it be your website, it could be a Facebook video, it could be a YouTube video, um, it could be a YMCA, I, it could be any youth organization within the sport you're in. But that is my number one metric. How many people can we drive to the phone, okay? And when you start to document that and you start to understand how many people who you are getting on the phone, that is one thing. Now, the next metric we need to understand is how many of these people over here are converting into actual clients, right? And the easiest way to track this, it's very simple. You just need to create a spreadsheet that has two columns. It says amount of people I contact or contacted me that or I contacted this month. And then you break that into weekly, right? So you, you put the total amount for the month, you break it into on a weekly basis, how many people that was, right? And then on the other column, you put how many of those people came into a free trial or, or came into your program that are now monthly customers, right? Now, when you have those two pieces of data, right? How many people you talk to over the phone? And I'm not talking about people who email you. Like that is, those are not phone calls. Those are people that are just going back and forth on email. Those people are not gonna be committed. You need to get on the phone, right? So how many people did you get on the phone? How many people did you convert into a client? Now, this is gonna come down to simple math, right? Let's just say on average, 30% of the time, this person comes in, they become a client 30% of the time, okay? If you just do simple math, that means three out of 10 people are going to commit to your program every week, right? That would be amazing, that would be great. I feel like 30% is not a very good number though. That means that seven people are going somewhere else, seven people are deciding not to do it, like if we can start to raise that number, that'd be great. But if you just keep it simple, if you're horrible at sales, um, even if you just get one out of 10 every week, that means every month you're adding four new clients to your business, 
right? You do that over the course of 12 months, you're going to be adding almost 50 new clients to your business. And if you have your business set up the way I do, where, where kids are committing to six months or 12 months of your program, like you are set only just having one kid, um, every single week or, or sorry. Yeah. Basically one kid every week. Um, so if you think about this, this is going to come down to being organized, right? You need to have a marketing system to get these leads over here, right? But you need to be very solid and committed to knowing, all right, if I have this many leads, I know that this many people are going to convert into clients. And if you're improving this side every single month, then you're going to be more and more profitable every single month, every single week, really. And here's the reality. Most coaches don't think that way. They are thinking, all right, I just need to show up to the field, do a good session, and then people will hear about what I'm doing, right? Word of mouth is awesome. I've I've built a lot of my business through word of mouth, but you always need to be marketing yourself, right? You always need to be reaching out to parents. So like this side over here that I talked about, how many people are hearing about you, how many people are getting on the phone, this needs to increase every month. And I would just set a goal. I would say, how many phone calls do I want to generate this week or this month? This way you can break that down. All right, I just need like three phone calls a week or I need... 10 phone calls a week. How am I going to do that? Well, you got to put yourself out there, but that's one piece of it. It's how can you close these people into your program? Because you could drive thousands of leads over the phone. If you're not getting anyone to your program, then there's a problem. And here's where I said, I'm always in the middle between helping people get leads and helping them close them into long-term clients that are happy, that are consistent. They're coming every single month. They're, they're there for years, right? That's how I built my business. I don't have kids who come train in my program where they just come and check it out and see if they like it. And they come whenever they want their parents drop them off and it's, it's babysitting. I don't do that. I work with very committed parents, very committed kids. That doesn't mean they have to be the best in my sport. I coach which is soccer. That just means they need to be committed. They need to be following my rules. And this is what I do. I help coaches set those expectations with parents Early on, this way, they are going to be the right fit for the program or not. And if they're not, they're not going to enter the program. And if they are, they're going to be there for a long period of time, right? So guys, I really want you to, to think about that going forward. If you're organized with those two metrics, how many people you are getting on the phone with? So these are parents, influencers, people who have influence over kids, right? How many of those people are converting into clients? When you have that, now you have a predictable way of running your business because you know if your if your ratio is horrible or if it's great you're going to know how many people you need to talk to now to convert into actual clients and this way you can plan out the entire year's worth of i would say marketing as far as how many players you want to get in your program and what type of programs you should be running but if you don't know those two things i promise you you're going to be lost right and i did not understand what those were when i first started i was just hoping People would go to my website. I was hoping that they would like my Facebook uh, videos that I did. And I was hoping they'd direct me message me on Facebook. I was just playing the hoping game, which does not work. You have to be very aggressive uh, with how you get your message out there and do it your way, right? But the more people who know about you over here, the more phone calls you're getting, right? The better this is going to be um, as far as closing those people and the better chance you have of actually talking to people to close in your program. So I hope this helps out, guys. Um, and here's what I want you to do. If you enjoyed this video and you want more business advice uh, with your sport and you want to take your, your, your coaching to the next level, you want to take your business to the next level, and maybe you haven't started your business yet, or maybe you have started and you're, you're stuck and you want some personal help, I've already helped hundreds of coaches in, in every sport imaginable, and I would love to help you out, right? So here's what I have set up right now. If you go to the link in the description, it'll say, um, call Coach Ben. Like all you have to do is like literally just go click on that link. It'll take you to my website, buildmysportsbiz.com. When you click on that, you just go to the top of the page. There's a big blue button. You click on that big blue button. It says call coach Ben. It's like super simple. You click on that. There's an application that you fill out. It takes about two seconds to fill out. Um, you go fill that out. I will get that in my email today. And once you do that, I will get on the phone with you. I will chat with you about your business and I see how I can help you out. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I really appreciate your time. Uh, but go take action on those two things. Like Those are going to help. Know how many people that you're calling 
Um, know how many of those people that are actually committing to your program. Now you have a predictable way of running your sports business. So I hope that helps out. I'll see you soon. Like I said, let's get on the phone. I would love to chat with you this week. Um, just go to my website, buildmysportsbiz.com. Click on the big blue button, fill out the application, and we're going to get on the phone. So that's it. I'll catch you later.